interesting about um, working with a person that's not necessarily um, in the design world, which kind of has a similar language to perfumery, working with someone that's a musician, they have a, a very different language through sound than I have through smell. Because your, your vocabulary that you use to sound is a far of vocabulary, in fact. Because like I was saying, as your other senses develop, you learn how to talk about them. But because your sense of smell is already fully developed, you never learn how to talk about it. Actually, the part of your brain that smells and feels is not connected to the part of your brain that processes language. And so with Lady Gaga walking in, she would kind of speak through music, and I would have to translate that into kind of a perfumery vision. And that's how we spoke to each other, which was really interesting. Um, and she wanted some very subversive ingredients, which I am. Um, I'll kind of talk to her about, I think. Um, but we did do something that was uh, very interesting and that fit a global marketplace, which when you speak about how to understand how to create that comfort piece, when you're doing a fragrance that hits every market in the world, you have to know what every 16-year-old finds comfortable, what every 25-year-old feels comfortable. And because my fragrance can be very faceted, um, you can kind of put all of these little pieces in and hopefully be successful.